what if what if the like, lines Toby is talking about talking here? It sounds like woo! he's in a fucking bathroom stall. Oh my god. Kill him. Oh wait, I have a grapple. I'll take you on. I have a grapple. Whoa. Alright. Drop him off a building. You're gonna go to pain. You're gonna go to pain. That's it. You're going to the Bronx. That, that <laughs> day. You're going to Harlem. Oh my god. That's it. You're going to Canada. That's it. You're going to Brazil. He's dead. Okay. How? That's his body over what? there. <laughs> no problem. No problem. <laughs> I murdered him, man. No problem. That guy's dead. He's no problem. He's literally not moving. Hey, listen, he doesn't kill people, all right? No, that's actually, that just reminded me of something really funny in PS4 Spider-Man. You can toss people off buildings, and then it's just like a web will, like, detach, like, detach from them to, like, a building. That's, that's, that's actually... Cute... I'll, I'll admit it, even though it makes no sense, it's a cute little detail. Yeah. Yeah. I at least appreciate that they drive that. There was a funny little video when Miles Morales came out, and, and it was like, in quote-unquote, Spider-Man does not kill people, and it's Miles Morales literally picking up a guy with his electrical power, throwing him into a car, and the car explodes with the <laughs> so, <laughs> It's so fucking funny. Okay, so since we were talking about uh, Amazing Spider-Man before, I have to mention my favorite thing about that movie. Two caps. No, Amazing Spider-Man 2. Well, the, not the, the tooth gap's really good, but the fact that, like... <laughs> the fact that... Oh, whenever Elektra uses his power, it's just a bunch of dubstep. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, if you're, if, if you're listening to the, uh, to the, like, surround sound sound mix of that movie, you actually can hear, like, lyrics or, like, people talking in the back. Like, I remember I watched it right here, like, here, mm -hmm. and the speakers in the back, you would hear, do it, do it, it was so weird. It was so stupid. It was a cool audio effect, but it was so overwhelming that it just was, like, goofy. It was supposed it was, to it was be, goofy. it was supposed to be, like, the voice of Sinus Heaven or some shit. I accidentally just popped it. Um, oh, I'm sorry, girl. Uh, here I go. What was I gonna say? Mm -hmm. Um, fucking, I think later on in the movie, like, when Spider-Man's fighting Electro, he's, like, Electro's like shooting shit at him and it's going itsy bitsy spider. <laughs> and it's so fucking idiotic. Like, th there's so many, like, that's the thing I will say about Maze Spider Man 2. It's so horrendously bad that it's incredible to watch. Some of the effects look really good. Oh, Other yeah, times no. it looks like dog shit. Okay, okay, the hand. The hand yeah. on the web? Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, here's the thing. The uh, amazing Spider Man movies, I actually think the biggest praise I have for them is the visual effects are amazing. The visual effects are really, really good for the most part. Like, I would say they're better than most MCU movies. The problem is, is that, um, there are just some ridiculously goofy shot, like, moments. Like, I don't know how to describe it. But, like, the actual CGI work is really good. They don't, like, it doesn't look super uh, fake. Sometimes Electro looks like a fucking video game character. Oh, yeah, I mean, him looking like a member of the Blue Man group is a little too much. But... Yeah, I, and also, like, the design, uh... For like Green Goblin in that movie, he's terrible. Oh yeah, he looks like a crack. He's yeah, literally yeah. in the movie for five minutes, and that's it. Yeah, he kills Gwen, and then just goes. <laughs> like, and he I, dies. like you're you say Spider Man thing now? You did <laughs> Like so, it's like here's the thing. Harry in PS4 was significantly more interesting, and he wasn't even fucking there. He was in a tank. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but now you know what he looks like. <laughs> Yeah, like, the most you knew about it was like, alright, Peter, hey, can you do this, like, fucking research center for me? Thanks. Yeah. I literally just those did Those side... I, I don't know why. I, I... All those side missions to Spider-Man PS4, none of them were that incredibly fun or interesting. I, the main... I didn't mind them. I thought they were good. I think the base, the, the base game ones were good. I thought the DLC ones sucked. Oh, the DLC ones were terrible. Oh, the, the, yeah. the best thing about the DLCs were all the, the outfits you would get. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, getting Sp uh, Scarlet, Sp Scarlet Spider 2 was, like, such a yeah. great suit. Unlocking, oh my god. Unlocking the combo was new a combo. lot of fun. Yeah, and I, I'm i not going to 100% the DLCs. I did that for one. Because it's literally just, oh, get a certain score in a screwball mission. And I'm no, not yeah, that. I 100%ed, because I was playing the remastered version on PS5, I was playing uh, the first DLC with Black Cat. I did everything. I 100 percent that, and I started like half of the second one, and it was just I was stuck on this one screwball mission for literally an hour. Doesn't Black Cat like trick you into thinking that you're like I have a kid with her or something? Like yeah, that? she obviously yeah. lies. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Yeah. Well, believe it or not, that was actually based off of a comic arc that someone really wanted to do for Spider-Man. 
where like Black Hat actually does have an illegitimate son with uh yeah I I watched that video I'm just saying video did I say video yeah the Spider-Man video with Black Hat oh I mean well I know there was supposed to be like an arc for the comics like that and then everyone at Marvel's like we literally sell this stuff to chip to children you wanted to have an illegitimate child yeah dude like this, this was in the 80s, 80s. yeah like, when Spider-Man was super edgy in the 80s yeah, there was like Craven last Craven's last hunt and stuff, which originally was actually supposed to be, I think, some other Marvel character. Then it almost became a, uh, uh, it almost became a DC story for Batman, and then it just went back to be. It somehow became a Spider-Man story. Yeah, I will like I will say like Craven's last hunt is really good, like it is a really good storyline, and I'm just thinking about the fact that like. You want to know how they got back to, like, Spider-Man being goofy? With uh, the, the Clone Saga. Oh, yeah, because the Clone yeah. Saga is really stupid. The Clone Saga, like, it went on for, like, five years. <laughs> like, there is no reason the Clone Saga should have gone on for that long. I have multiple issues of the Clone Saga. I remember every single one of them is, like, if you're not following them in order, the plot makes no sense. Yeah, because the worst part about the Clone Saga, because they knew, like, this was, like, when Marvel's numbers were starting to sag. So... They spread all of the Clone Saga across four, uh, all four different Spider-Man series. Yeah, because there was Spider-Man, Web of Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man, and then I think there was like a Scarlet Spider comic, if I remember correctly. I think it was that. Because I, I think I, I have an issue with Scarlet Spider in it, and it's not to, like Peter Parker, it's Ben Riley. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Okay, I this is so dark, I actually didn't even know I just walked through a door. Spider-Man, show. I'm working my way selling Spider-Man, just say cocaine. Better yet, if you're gonna get them in their crack then, like, why not just, like... I mean, you're cornering the sure market. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, it was Web of Spider, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, and then Spent Spectacular Spider-Man. Oh, Spectacular, you're right, you're right, that was it, that was it. I, because I, I, when I was a kid, I would read a lot of Spider-Man comics, so, like, I, I knew pretty much all that stuff. I think my first comic was a Web of Spider-Man comic, and I think it was... It wasn't 100, because I do have 100. That's the the Spidey armor, like the, the silver suit. Yeah. But uh, I did have a Web of Spider-Man comic. I remember that. And then I read a lot of classic stuff. So I googled the black hat. Mm -hmm. And there we go. That is a black hat. I got a black hat. Yeah. That is, that is just a black hat. Oh, that's cute. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. Yeah. Yeah. Too bad I'm allergic to it. Oh, uh, well, I'll throw it at you, and then you'll die. <laughs> oh, my God. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm driver, sorry. Driver angry Tyler. Look at him, cat. Tyler. Look at this animal. Isn't it? Yeah, he's cute, but I'll fucking die. I'll cover him in pineapple juice, and then he'll be fine. Oh yeah, my god, is that Spider Man? Spider Man in my store? Yes, I want to touch you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm here to just touch you. Want me? I don't just think about like because all the like the different like superhero shows that are just you know going on. Man, I am so excited for uh, even, like. For Invincible, I guess he's Invincible? Invincible. Oh, Invincible is really yeah. good. Invincible. Invincible is I remember. I remember Mike said that. Yeah, I've already said his name like eight times. Um, there's a I mean, lot of people we, in this world named Mike. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people in this world named every one of our friends' names. We all have kind of generic white people names. Yeah, true. Yeah. Honestly. So. <laughs> but um, <laughs> there's only one Tyler. That's me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're ninja. What am I kind of ninja? No. The fuck you say me, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, how are you not fucking school it? <laughs> we were driving home and Mike when well, we were in the car and Mike said, uh, I started watching Invincible and uh, I thought it was horrible. That was so generic. Are you fucking kidding me? And I was sitting here and I'm like, Did you finish the first episode? He's like, I couldn't even make it through the first episode. Oh my god. I didn't god. make it through oh And I'm like, god. go rewatch the yeah. first episode and get to the end. Yeah. And then he got to the end, and he's like after that, he's like, oh, yeah, I watched all of Invincible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, he's like, have to get to the first episode. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, it's so yeah, generic. It's funny <laughs> because my sister had the opposite reaction. She watched it, and she goes, oh, I like this. And then she got to the end of the first episode, and she was, sh she was so traumatized it's by it. shocking as fuck. She was so traumatized by it, she couldn't watch the rest of it. She's like... She's like, I can't, I can't watch that. Like, she was literally like, pale. He like, literally kills a ripoff Justice League, and it's so fucking. Oh no, he doesn't them. just kill them. He literally rips them apart. Yeah, yeah, it's, like yeah. Invincible. Like, it is a really messed up oh, show. It's so boring. Yeah, yeah. Like, also, yeah. Just 
Okay, this is spoilers for anyone that hasn't watched Invincible. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I've been out for a while now. Been out for a while. No, but I just, I just want to, I just want to get you know, just you know, throw it out there yeah. just in case. So mean. during like the final, the final episode, during that final scene. Oh my god, that's where the train. don't talk about the train, please. Not the train. Uh, no, no, no. The one the line. Train traumatizes me. The the one line where he just goes, where Ani Man just goes. What seventeen? Yeah, what seventeen years? more years? I'll like, have another kid. Yeah, that's fucked up. That is that is the most metal thing I think I've ever heard. I mean, that's exactly what I would say. My own kid, if <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like if my kids like if I could live as long as Omni Man, yeah, like yeah, like, I mean, that's what's a seventeen down. years. Yeah, I, I love the ending part, like after the flashback sequence where you know uh, Mark's all blooded up and he says Candace, <laughs> and then Omni Man's like, "Who's Candace? Candace Dick Finger." And then he punches him a few times. And he yeah. that him. that Squidward edit that I shared <laughs> is uh, might be honestly one of the best edits I've ever just seen. Squidward edit looks real. You've had it looked, enough. It looked wow. borderline real. <laughs> 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 You've had enough. No. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, it so it funny. looks so good. Uh. Oh my, god. oh my god, that, no, I can't do that. The guy who did that, he did a great job. Absolute great job. Dude, like, people have really upped their fucking game when it comes to shit posting. People give a shit. <laughs> yeah, people you actually give, give a shit, shit about, about the shit, shit posts. Yeah. yeah. I, it's amazing how people give a shit about how editing works in a goddamn meme video than in an actual fucking movie or a TV yeah, show. No, yeah, it's fucking it's absolutely wild. Nice. And it's like, how are these people not hired? Instead, you're gonna hire just random people who got a fucking master's degree from Brown. Oh my god. Oh my god, Black Cat's just gonna straight up. Wait, wait. Oh, never mind. Black name? Cat's just like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, milkshake brings all the boys in the yard. Those milkshakes are gonna pop out any fucking second now. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Relax. Oh, it's over! <laughs> she died, never mind. I'm selling shirt! <laughs> hey! Oh, these bagels, where's the spin? Wait, wait. Okay. I'm gonna smear your right. sure, my so, Okay, this is, 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 is Was that a two game prince plug? Oh, the two game prince. Two game yeah. prince. <laughs> Shout out to the two game prince. Yeah. Oh, go go right. All right. Go if you watch go this video, go subscribe to two game prince. Watch <laughs> and if you can make it through one video, I will find you and I will Venmo you $10. Yeah, you can make it through. If you're not falling asleep failure. or like tabbing out, or you have to sit there and watch the whole video all the way through and all just right. listen to this guy just talk with no editing to his fucking camera. I mean, well, Two Game Prince hasn't uploaded in a while. I'm not gonna lie. I'm also, yeah. also, I will say, you know, you know we keep, since we're talking about Two Game Prince, yeah. Um, you know, what's what's your favorite? Uh, I'll I'll call him this. You know, what's your favorite take of the Contrarian? The oh. your, two Game Prince Contrarian take. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, we're just gonna call him Two Game Prince because that's what we're gonna refer to him as. Two Game Prince is Two Game Prince because he doesn't have Oh yeah, <laughs> no, Two Game Prince. He forgot. He doesn't know how to spell Prince. <laughs> he doesn't know how to spell Prince. Uh, yeah, he doesn't know how to spell Prince. Writer by the so, way. Uh, dude's twenty five. years book. Dude's, dude's gonna be thirty five years. Um, oh my god. This is two Game Prince land. Two Game okay. Prince. Do you want to try to watch this video? Type in Brian versus Two Game Prince. It is five minutes long, and it, he's literally talking to himself. I shit you not, it is the worst fucking video. And if you're watching this Two Game Prince, this is the worst fucking video I've ever seen on all of YouTube. <laughs> Absolute cringe. This is targeted. This could be flagged as hate speech. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, flag this hate speech against the person we know in real life. Yeah, my I took to Disney. Yeah, so but, let's just make sure that we all know that. But, yeah, but, no, but seriously, what's your favorite uh, two game prince? Uh, so game. many contrarian things. Yeah, I'll let you go with yours first. Uh, and then I'll do I, I think the most offensive one, only because I don't think there's many people who would ever agree with this. Yeah, it's literally just that The Sopranos is overrated, and that uh, Boardwalk Empire is better. That is a that, that is, is a take. That is a take. Yeah. yeah that is that is that is a take that I know mo a lot of people who've seen both shows and everyone except for this man has said the exact opposite. Can. That like well, it's a good show, but it's not on the same level. It's not Sopranos. Yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, the PS5 one was pretty. Oh, I saw that video. <laughs> well, it's just a bunch of existing franchises. 
But, but, but the craft was so bad. I, so I don't know. This guy's like out there saying the GameCube's the best console of all time. No, all right. Okay, 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 all right. Okay, okay. No, no, no. He said that Pac Man World 2 is the greatest game of all time, even though he beat it once at my house and he was having trouble with the final boss for a fucking hour straight. Okay, just to, just to not make this an exclusive two game friends uh, pooping session. Frank, for, Frank sorry. <laughs> pooping session because. Most people have literally no idea. Uh, mo not most. All people have no idea who he is. Yeah. Uh, just, just to not keep bragging on that, I will say though that is that is the opinion I've heard actually quite a few people say though is that the game the game is like, the best console. Yeah, that is. That, I personally wholeheartedly disagree. They have the generation right. They have the generation right. The PS2 is what I would say is the best console of all time, just because every single genre of game there's at least. There's at least, at least, I'd say 15 must play games on there. Yeah, I'd say the only genre they probably don't get is like fighting games, but like. I like the GameCube. I, I, I was not saying that I think that no, I love the not GameCube. the best console. It's just, I think if you try and ask him if he likes a console that isn't GameCube, it's going to be not good. So. Oh, yeah. right. 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 I still have so many fond memories of GameCube. No, love... GameCube's great. I, I played GameCube and PS2 all the time. I had, I I had a PS2 growing up, so I never really had it. Like, I had an Xbox growing up. Xbox. I had a PS2 growing up, and I wanted a GameCube so bad because all my friends had one. But honestly, in retrospect, I'm not going to lie. The GameCube has great games, but I do think it's kind of overrated only because there's a lot of really good games on, on both of the other consoles that I think are much more, like, must-play games than the GameCube. Oh. Like, Wind Waker and Sunshine are both really good, and so is Melee. But that's basically where it ends, I'd say. No. Uh, well, that's just me. Well, no, I mean, like, Pikmin. 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 Pikmin, oh my god. Pikmin. Yeah, Metroid Pik Prime. Pikmin, yeah, Metroid Prime. Like, all these games are really good, but what I'm saying is, is, like, well, Metroid Prime is actually an extremely good game, but, like, most of these games aren't, like, oh, like, the best games ever made. Like, I would say, like, Melee and, like, Prime and, like, uh, sunshine. Thought, no, Sunshine's really contested. Some people hate Sunshine. Everyone I've seen, out here, I've seen yeah, a lot of people hate Sunshine. Everyone oh, yeah. out here like the GameCube is the best console. Just buy a fucking Wii. 